How's it going guys, Alex here, welcome back to another SSR analysis video and today we are going to be taking a look at the physical pan obviously from GT and if we jump straight into it, she has a very interesting lead, um, leader skill, very similar to Trunks but obviously for different types. Um, her leader skill gives two key to AGL and physical types as well as a 30% stat boost, so obviously Trunks gave um, a two key boost and a 30% um, stat boost to STR and tech types whereas Pan gives it gives it to AGL and physical types, and um, later on I will be making a team with her leader skill, and hopefully I will actually be able to make a few videos with her leader skill because I actually have um, some pretty good physical and AGL units. The only problem is finding a Pan friend, which I know I could potentially get a few of the guys to set her as the friend. But enough of that. If we move on to her super attack. She causes supreme damage and she also gives a 25% attack boost to all her allies. And if we have a look at her passive, she gives a 30% attack and defensive boost when HP is 30% um, or above. 80% would have been terrible, but she is basically Super Vegito. Um, both of them do the exact same thing. They both give a 25% attack boost with their passive skills. They both give an attack and defensive boost with their passives. However, the big difference here is that Pan has a restriction, whereas... Vegito does not. She, um, here she has a 30% restriction, which honestly isn't too bad if you are using her as a lead. It may be hard to maintain because you obviously don't have that much health. And you may you could potentially make a few sacrifices here and there to, you know, implement a tank or two, or maybe a damage reduction unit for one of the um, one of the types, but it's not optimal by any means. And I will show you an example of a really good team in a few moments, of course. And I literally just realised that she actually does have some pretty good um, stats. Her defensive, um, her um, HP stats, pardon me, is pretty high as well as her defensive stats. So on a modern physical team, I would imagine that she would be a pretty good support unit. But to quickly have a look at a Twelve Key Multiply, 135, which is pretty damn good. But obviously her main, um, her main trait is to support your other units. And you know how I feel about support units. I rank them highly. I run a support unit in almost every team, primarily tech, just simply because um, Vegito is an incredible unit. But if we now go ahead and make a team with um, a pan lead to um, start off um, things, because this could be an example of what I may run in the future for certain videos. And the good thing is you aren't limited to just a um, specific type. I, I, I don't think that's the right word. I'm... Villain, I mean, hero villains, you, you're not limited to just, to just run one of them. So, if we quickly go ahead and grab a few of these units. So, Pan lead, Super Saiyan for Vegeta, um, Goku Black, where's Super Saiyan Rose? Super Saiyan Rose, um, who else do we want to grab from here? Vegito Blue. So, that's what, one, two, three, four. Grab one more AGL unit. Let's go ahead and grab Super Saiyan Blue Kai again. Actually, I don't have him, so <laughs> let's go um, ahead and grab Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Actually, I don't have Geo Blue either. So, yeah, this is an example of a team that I would run or something along these lines. I unfortunately do not have um, Geo Blue, but yeah, it's just basically a rough example of what a team would look like if you were to run a pan lead. Honestly, this is a team that I would run just simply because I don't have um, that many physical type units. I obviously have Goku Black and my Goku Black is a beast. I don't have Super Saiyan Go um, Gotenks unfortunately. I don't have Vegito Blue. I do have Broly but I'm not too keen on him. So this is probably the team that I'm going to run for that video. So if you do want to see that in the coming days let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, hopefully I can find a pan friend. Let's go ahead and see how well she does on a modern physical team and hero. But if you wanted, um, I'm going to say this now, Vegito is the better unit if you were to run him on a hero team just simply um, because he um, has better links and just fits better. Actually, it's kind of debatable now because you have like, what, two GT units in there, which obviously involve, include, pardon me, um, Goku and Vegeta, but I'm losing track of what I was going to be doing here, so... Can grab Pan, Vegito Blue, Broly, Goku Black, Super Saiyan Gotenks, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I think the last lot's interchangeable, you can pretty much run who you want. You can take this um, Trunks if you wanted to for, you know, that extra support. You could take uh, Full Power Freezer, of course, if you wanted a bit... Did I just take him off? What the hell? 
okay, so like this. Um, so that's that. Yeah, okay, I thought made a big mistake there. So this is an example of your like core five or something along these lines. You could put Super Saiyan. I I'll put it on Doken thing. Um, Go tanks in there. I'm losing track of things today. So you know you could put Go tanks in there. You could put another hard unit um, hitting unit in there like the physical Super Trunks. You could go for a more defensive unit like Piccolo to give Vegito Blue a defensive boost. You could just pretty much do what you want with this team, but you, there are a few core units that I think are basically optimal. For example, Goku Black, Vegito Blue, Broly, and Physical Gotenks are pretty much must. I don't really, um, really see who you could replace them for, to be honest, but let's now go ahead and move and move. Nice one, Alex. Let's go ahead and make a quick hero team with Pan involved. We get rid of the villains. So, GT, GT, so that is obviously the main link that they do share here, well, the only link, and obviously Fierce Battle. And what is that 2500 attack link? I'm actually not too sure. So, what that's for, uh, let's go ahead and grab Super Vegito, keep in mind that the physical unit would be Vegito Balloon, but not today. Uh, trunks. And then let's go ahead and grab our tech unit, which would be, I mean, normally it would be Gotenks, but he literally like shares no key for any of these units apart from Vegito, and that's because he has the Fused Fighter Link. So you know what, let's put regular Vegito in there. So this is it, um, an example of a team that would work. She shares two, she shares a link with um, Super Saiyan for Goku and Vegito. I'm pretty sure she doesn't, she doesn't link with anyone else. Okay, she does have the Saiyan, um, Saiyan lineage, actually. So she does have one link with Vegito. But again, that wouldn't be that significant, especially if you are running a double trunks lead, where you only have two keys. So realistically, um, you would probably be ditching Tech Vegito here and running a Vegito blue lead and a trunks lead for that extra key, or a double Vegito blue lead just to um, get that key up. Because honestly, it's an okay team, but as I said before, Tech Vegito is the better support unit, but this is probably the best way of implementing her. Um, she would definitely work much better on a monophysical team, especially if you don't have the Gallic Gun Trunks. But he is a very good unit, I'm not going to lie. He doesn't give as much of a boost with his passive skill, but he does fit better. And it is an incredible unit. But that is it guys, I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I hope you guys understood what I said, because it was a bit all over the place, but um, if you did enjoy what you saw, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>